everybody, my name is Quet, and today it was a video too of a story, The Twelve Dancing Princes. The first video we go to, we has go to the chapter three, Kicking Challenge. And now we go to chapter four. And the name is Raph and Rascal. Raph and Rascal. Magician and a pet dog. Raph is a magi magician. And Rascal is his pet dog. And now let's read. Chapter 4 to chapter 6. Okay? Wrath and Rascal. One day, a magician named Wrath and his pet dog, Rascal, were passing the castle. Wrath noticed one of the king's posters and decided to find out more. This could be interesting, Rascal. When he saw Wrath, the king looked doubtful. He was separate to know what the girls were up to, so he agreed to let Raf try. I chop off your head if you fail, you know. Yes, but I won't fail. Yes, you won't fail, Raf. Night came, and Raf was. Put in the same room where the other stayed. Hello, I'm Amy, said the youngest. He's nice, she whispered to her sisters. I don't want him to die because of us. Maybe we shouldn't go out tonight, her sister ignored. I think they still want to go to dance, though. I, I know Rav is a magician. A magician is very good at magic, though. So I think he would be good. A few minutes later, Annabelle, the eldest sister. You know what is eldest? Eldest means oldest sister. Brought Raph a cup of coca, but Raph was a wise magician. He knew what she was up to. Yes, and this magician is very smart, though. I take more than that to fool me. This is for you. So Ralph know what is Annabelle and those those princesses are up to. So he pretend to drink the coca. Then when Annabelle wasn't looking, he poured it into Rascal bowl. Rascal was delighted. Pretend you are a dog when your master give you some food. Are you happy? Ralph yawned. I think I just put my feet up for a few minutes, he told Annabelle. He pretended to sleep, but, but in Rascal, he was real sleep, though. Then, with an even bigger jaw, he pretended to fall fast asleep. Oh, this bed, this bed, and here it was beautiful. I wish I'd have a bed like that. But my kind of bed has another bed on it. Because I like that kind of bed. Well, it can have two people can sleep on it. Mm. One at at the bottom and one at the top. 
Low. Annabelle crept back to her, sis, her sisters. He is asleep, she whispered. Let's get ready. They put on their sparkliest ball dresses. Wow. A princess wearing beautiful pink pink dress. A another princess making her hair curlier and she making she making she prettier and her dress was orange. Some some is a yellow dress but some are green, some are blue, just like a rainbow. And the new shoes. The princesses shimmered like a rainbow. Wow. Ooh. Annie, she wore she wear the kind of dress that was so beautiful, just like a little fairy. Cute, isn't it? With the last button buttoned and the last bow tied, the girls stood stood by their beds. Annabelle pulled back their dust a pulled back a dusty old rug in the corner of a room to reveal a secret trap door. Oh now I know how can we go to tag Dax. We're not tying the for some of the clothes when but climbing out climbing out a a window. They have a secret trap door. Cool. The hinges creak as she pulled it open. One by one the girls disappeared down some steps into a long dark tunnel. Oh, cool. Wrath on the trail. When the princesses were out of sight, Wrath quickly entered their room. Oh, cool. Now, I didn't know when Wrath followed them, how could he do? Huh? What about when they saw Rat? I'm quite worried about him. He clicked his finger and a cloak appeared. With the second click, Rat vanished. Carefully, he tiptoed down the steps or in, into the tunnel. Oh, does that mean he wear a special cloak? When click the first click, the cloud disappeared. When he when the second click, he start to vanish. Carefully, he tiptoed down steps into the tunnel. It didn't take long for him to catch up with the princesses. Raph tried to walk quietly. But it wasn't easy. At one point, he stepped on Amy's dress. He jumped and turned around. She jumped and turned around, but there was no one here. There. Oh. A few moments later, Ralph stepped on a twig. Now Amy was convinced that someone was following them. Her sister didn't believe her. Crack! What was that? Annie said. You're just hearing things silly. That was sister. At the end of the tunnel, they came to an untarnishing row of trees. Some of the trees glinted with silver, some with gold, and some with sparkling diamonds. Ooh, they 
leading somewhere. It has some kind of trees growing, growing silver leaves. Some of silver gold, no, some of golden leaves and some of sparkling diamond leaves. Imagine I was here. I would snap some twig, then I go, then I sell it. So I would be a richer. No, I would not want it to sell it. I just want to keep it. Because it's really, really beautiful, though. You know, I like sparkly things like diamonds, though. Well, I've never seen trees like them. While the princesses carried on, gently broke off a twig from each tree. Up ahead, the princesses had stopped before a lake. Mm, it stood in the shadow of a beautiful castle. Wow, this is amazing. Twelve boats were waiting at the edge of the lake, and in each boat sat a handsome prince. Cool! Each prince rode a princess across the lake. Then they, then they go and lead to the castle. Then they go, mm, go and dance, right? Raph sneaked into a boat carrying Amy. When they reached the other side, the band began to play. The princesses danced until their feet were sore and the soles of their shoes were warm. Warm, though. That's water. That's why one morning their shoes become soggy. As the sun rose, they lit home. Our night of dancing are still safe. I'm like poor Rav's head, said Annabelle, yawning. Annie looked upset. Hush. Annie looked upset because she was quietly. Hmm. What you said about rap, though? She feel poor, but not that. A shock for the king. The king was having breakfast when Raz stole in. Good morning, your majesty, said Raz brightly. I suppose you come to tell me you failed too. Sign the king. Ah, oh, but I didn't, sir. Raps replied, waving the twigs. He told the king what he seen. The mystery is solved. This all sounds very unlikely, grumbled the king. When Raph had finished, finished. Are you sure you're not just making it up to save your head? No, he's making it real. Well, oh, in this picture I saw those princesses are crying until there was a, a little puddle in the, in the room. Well, they decide to call for Annabelle. When she saw three wigs in his hand, she looked horrified. Because, because she think Raph, Raph has found them. And what they do? One look at her face told the king all he needed to know. Dancing is bad. He declared. The princesses sobbed and wailed and they 
heard the secret has been discovered. What will we he, he do? They cry. Life is so dull without dancing. This is the worst day of my life. Poor little princess, says, but there was nothing they could do. True to this world, the king let Raph marry one of his daughters. I like Annie, Raph said. Oh, if he have, have me, she's the sweetest of all. I think Raph think Annie is the sweetest. Look at this. This time Annie look very, very happy. Well, and she was really beautiful with this dress. And this dress, it kind of looked like a bell. Well, a big white bell. <laughs> I'm sure you both be very happy. Annie and Raph's wedding was a joyful occasion. Even the king couldn't stop smiling. I have a surprise for you, he whispered to Annie. Ah, oh, cool. Now everyone kept dancing in the ballroom. Even Rascal he was dancing with the other dog. <laughs> The king led her to the ballroom, and Annie gasped. Hundreds of candles lit up. The dance floor, and in the corner, a band was playing a lively tune. Cool. As it a special occasion, you may all dance, but for one night only said the king. Mm. Uh, now the princess could dance, but they could just dance one night only. Oh, how wonderful! cried Amy and her sisters, grabbing partners. They were all still dancing and following night. I thought I said one night only, said the king, but he smiled. Raph has worked some more of his magic. So it, I has just finished three more chapters. So now let's summary that. Now we could done this video. Well, dancing princess. Mm. Raph and Rascal. Raph and Rascal was was walking through the castle. Raph was a magician, and Rascal was his pet dog. He saw the posters. And he wanted to try if he if he can do it to have a surprise. She come and asked asked the king to do it. The king said, "If you fail, I chop off your head." Then he said. Don't worry, I can, I will not fail, he said. Then that night, Raph could, could stay at the another, another room beside the princess room. Mm. Then the job you need to do is is following them and and see where where it lead. Mm. Annabelle, the eldest sister, go in Raph Raph's room and give 
him, give him a cup of milk, of milky cocoa. And Ralph was a wise magician. He know, know what are they up to. Then, when, when he grabbed the cup of coca, he not drinking it. But when Annabelle wasn't looking, he poured the coca into, poured the coca to let Rascal to drink it. Rascal was light, and he was pretend to go to sleep. Then, but before I go to sleep, he said, "I think I was, I was sleepy. I could have some. I could go to sleep a few minutes." He pretend to fall fast asleep. Then Annabelle go to her room, room with her sisters, and she whispered, "He was sleep. He was sleep." She whispered, and they all, all started to wear their beautiful this ball, ball, ball dress. They tie up their shoes, they comb their hair, spraying, spraying the liquid that smells that very nice. I'm not very sure what is it. They're wearing their new shoes for dancing. Annabelle push off the old rug. At the corner of their room, and the secret trap door was opened. They start to go in the secret trap door. When all the princesses was in in the hall of the trap secret trap door, Rafts quickly go in their room. He wearing magic cloak. He clicked. Two times, then he vanished, and the clock, he, he quietly tiptoed inside it. Ralph tried to, to walk quietly, but it was, not, not easy. Sometimes he in, even stepped on Annie's dress. Annie. Amy was surprised. She quickly looked back at her, but no one's there. Then, but the dark tunnel was lead to a beautiful place. It had beautiful trees with some leaves. Some were sparkling diamonds. Some were silvers. Some were. Gold, golden. Uh, Ralph gently, mm, gently, mm, uh, break the twig, and he, and, and then he, tr he tried to sneak, sneak into a boat carrying. Amy. Then he saw. He saw a big, beautiful castle, and the princess go into the castle and dance until her shoes were soggy. Then more the sun has set up. The princess go back to their room. And said, "The the dancing night was still safe. Safe," they said. Unlike poor Ralph's head, and Amy looking upset. When morning, he go he go to see the king, 
and he saw the king was eating his breakfast. The king think he was he was hmm, telling no he was hmm, failed too, but he not. But he not. The mystery has solved. Then he waved out for three weeks to tell to the king all he has seen. The king think he what he said was not true. True. He called Annabelle out. When Annabelle saw three waves on his hand, she looked surprised. And at her face, the king know, know there's out to for dancing. Hmm. Then, then, hmm, Raph could marry one of the princes. And the princess he chose was Annie. He think Annie is the sweetest princess of all. So we choose her. The prince, no, the king said to all to the princes, You can dance, but just one night only. The end. Goodbye.